Well, if you don't innovate, you know, you become extinct. So, you know, we can't just make incremental increases in, in, in the value that our customers derive from our solutions. That's just not going to win or place us as a leader or as a disruptor in the industry. So, you know, we have to think not one or two years ahead of the curve, but in some cases three to five years ahead. Uh, what we are all about at GPS Insight is making sure our product fits the needs of our customer. So if we have to develop a new piece of the product to make sure um, it meets their needs, we do that um, unquestionably to make sure that we service them. Uh, our ability to adapt uh, is, uh, is the core to what we do. Um, so we need to adapt for our customers. Uh, they're moving quickly, they're challenged all the time, uh, so it's important that we, uh, we adapt with that. really important to have operational excellence at all times and we're a company that always seems to push the envelope when it comes to always looking for the, the, the next best thing to become as efficient as possible. For example, um, we reduced our mileage by over a million miles uh, per year. Being an industry leader is a very important to Sprouts and it's something we take very serious. It's, uh, it really goes beyond sales and profits for us and it really shows our commitment to taking care of our planet, our team members and our community. I mean, everything's changing, you know, literally, not even daily anymore, but hourly. And I think in our industry, in the food industry, if you look at, at the large companies, they're all struggling uh, to grow the top line, and largely because I've been there and done that. It, it's hard for, for large companies to adapt and move quickly, and I think that's what's made us uh, reasonably successful the last few years, is our ability to not only to innovate, but to make sure that we commercialize new ideas and, and we adapt quickly to consumers' tastes. It just takes a lot of time. In our case, we're working with the United States government a lot because we're pushing back the technology. All my degrees are in engineering. And so you're always trying to fight. Somebody's take, trying to take the money from you know, the government. And Innovation and initiative would be the two words I would use to describe what it takes to be successful. Uh, those are the keys to staying a uh, product line a, a head or two of, of competitors in, in the world we live in. Need to remember that in every aspect of it from answering the phone to that final transaction that you have with them it's not just about getting a, a check from them um, it's, it's about more than that we always say if I help you make money I will always make money off of you so it's about being part of your solution not part of the problem.
things. Uh, in our industry, we're in direct uh, sales, multi-level marketing. Uh, you need a great set of products uh, that work, products with integrity, products that are safe, uh, and ours is for weight loss primarily. Again, I'm about to fall back to reimbursement rates. As reimbursement changes, and it changes often from both government and commercial payers as well, you have to figure out a new way to do business almost daily. Um, I'm not trying to over dramatize it. It just is. It just is what it is. You honestly have to figure out a new way to service patients, take care of patients, take care of populations, and manage risk in a way that enables you to, you know, continue moving forward. And so every day we are trying to figure out how to get more meaningful engagement with the patient to be supportive of the patient in understanding their disease and their therapy so that they can become successful uh, in completing their therapy. And last year we did a study uh, of patients who used a mobile application to help manage their therapy along with us as compared to patients who just uh, followed a traditional path of therapy management. And we found And so I think the biggest thing that a company has to have is uh, you have to have ethics. And uh, you got to be honest and open and you do business with a lot of integrity. And so I think uh, in our business that's what we try and portray. Uh, I think you have to be the very best at customer service, much like any business. Um, Sun State's philosophy is that if we treat our employees properly, with respect, treat them in a way that we would be and expect to be treated that they're going to bend over backwards to take care of our customers and that basic philosophy has really been the foundation of our success over the last 38 years. I think flexibility is, is really key. Um, you know, the business world is changing so rapidly and, and technology changing so rapidly that I think if you're not uh, making those moves as an organization and being agile, um, you're going to be left behind, um, and we'd rather be the tip of the spear that other people are following, just like any company. Um, but I think you have to be agile and flexible in order to execute to that. very significant for us. Our company was founded here in Phoenix in 1977 and we've been working hard in Arizona to help develop and build our community and to be recognized by peers and other folks that we respect means a lot. Sun State is founded on, first of all, people. People are the most important thing and the employees would be the utmost important and that permeates throughout the company. We treat employees with respect and appreciate what they do for all of us. Um, and people also includes then our customers and our vendors. They're all partners in our business. Um, we've always felt if our people are happy they'll take great care of our customers.
only succeeded because we innovated ourselves uh, into this position. Uh, we're the only U.S. held, privately held GPS tracking company left. Everybody else has gotten lots of private equity or been uh, taken by a Verizon or some, something like that. So, so ultimately, uh, if it weren't for innovation, we would have been squashed like a bug a long time ago. Uh, in order to separate yourself and to be an industry leader, you have to be able to um, really take a lot of, of what we do and put it into um, efforts that will benefit your customer. And for us, uh, what we are all about at GPS Insight is making sure our product fits the needs of our customer. So if we have to develop a new piece of the product to make sure um, it meets their needs, we do that um, unquestionably to make sure that we service them. How If you look at the history of our company, um, five years ago, six years ago, we were less than 10% healthy natural. We made a decision that the industry and the consumer was moving more to healthier and natural foods. Today we're over 80% healthy natural. That's one of the reasons we're one of the faster growing food companies because we made that change and that, uh, that change in our, our strategy as well as uh, the focus of our company. Well, uh, we've had a huge uh, transformation. Uh, when we got, when Terry and I got here in 2006, it was a 100% potato chip company. It was Poor Brothers and TGI Fridays. And Terry uh, recognized early on that uh, we've got to have a healthier portfolio because consumers were eating, you know, trying to eat healthier in the United States. So we've completely changed our uh, portfolio. We bought a frozen berry company, and then we bought a frozen vegetable company, and we launched Jamba Big at Home Smoothies. We're now about 83% of our revenue are come from products that are better for you, uh, not just sort of indulgent potato chips. So we've, you know, we've recognized consumer trends and changed our company accordingly. for doing that, it just means that we're